the University of Wisconsin Extension's Local Government Center's Program on Parliamentary Procedure for Local Government in Wisconsin. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic that often gets overlooked, and that is what is the meaning or the purpose of a second to a motion? So we're going to go through a scenario here, and you're going to hear from our expert Larry Larmer on what does it really mean when you second a motion? We are now ready for the next agenda item, which is the parliamentary procedure uh, training. I think this is important, and the local government center has a workshop scheduled for next month. I think that if we send the clerk to that workshop, she could bring back the materials and fill us in on the important stuff. I move that we send the clerk to next month's local government center's workshop on parliamentary procedure. I second. Okay, it has been moved and seconded that we send the clerk to the local government center workshop on parliamentary procedure next month. Is there any discussion? You know, if we do that, we're going to have to pay her registration fee. Wow, I didn't realize any expense was involved. I withdraw my second. So what happens now, Larry? If the second's withdrawn, do we have to find another second in order for this to move forward? Well, no. Uh, the way this scenario played itself out, the withdrawal of the second has absolutely no effect. It means nothing to the body at this point. There are two reasons for this, and they're independent reasons, so to explain them. Uh, first, we'll talk about um, the idea of the function of a second. The function of a second is simply to say that one person, other than the person who makes a motion, agrees that it is worth talking about. It doesn't necessarily agree with the content of the motion or the sentiment of the motion, but it agrees that, yes, we should deal with this. Uh, the person actually could be hostile to the, um, to the intention of the motion. Um, in this particular case, the way this scenario went, we did have the regular motion process with the motion being made, then seconded, and then presented to the body by the chair. And then there was a third member of the body making a comment about the motion. When that person makes the comment about the motion, that person is in effect saying, this is worth talking about because I'm talking yeah, about it. Yeah. Okay, so that basically serves the function of a, of a second. However, there's a whole other and more important reason uh, why the withdrawal of the second doesn't have any effect in this case, and that has to do with the ownership of the motion. Uh, once it has been moved, once it's been seconded, once been presented to the body by the chair, saying it's been moved and seconded and that, uh, then this becomes the property of the body and they alone determine the fate of the motion. Uh, there's uh, Certainly it would be a mistake. A mistake, Dan, that I've seen happen where in this exact situation the chair would say, oh, we've lost our second, the motion is now lost. Mm -hmm. And that would be wrong. It's now up to the body to decide what's going to happen to the motion from now on. So let's see how this should be handled. We're going to rejoin the meeting, starting with Katie's request to withdraw her second. Wow, I didn't realize all that was involved. I withdraw my second. Well, Katie, since we have already been begun the discussion of the motion, withdrawing your second is of no consequence. I assume what you wish to indicate is your opposition to the motion. So we can let the record show that you requested to withdraw your second or you could call for a recorded vote. And uh, when the time comes, you could show that you voted no, uh, if that's what you actually want to do. Uh, so what's your preference? I did not know that. Maybe there could be some benefit to the training. Anyway, for now, I ask that the vote be recorded. Well, that was enlightening. We learned a lot about what the purpose of a second is. And we also learned that if you don't want a motion to move forward, then you should keep your mouth shut because just by talking, you can inadvertently second a motion. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.